Hi, and welcome back to SoFlow Dining, South Florida's premier dining blog. I'm Chef Dan, and this is Doris with a D. Hi. In this edition, we're going to talk to you about Cafe Max. Max with two X's. Mm -hmm. They're located at 2601 East Atlantic Boulevard and Pompano Beach. Um, I believe they've been there since 1984. Um, one of the current owners, Darrell Brock, he worked there until 88 when he decided to buy it. Um, with um, Oliver Saucy, the chef. Awesome. And um, like I said, they've been there 30, a little over 38 years. And we ride <clears throat> on Atlantic Avenue. All the time. Uh, on Boulevard. All the time. And we go by and we say, yeah, we're going to go and we're going to have dinner there one of these nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's, let's make some reservations. And we have yeah. on a couple of occasions. And uh, unfortunately, life happened. Yeah. And we were unable to... Um, have fun there <laughs> or go so uh, we decided uh, you know what why don't we go there and celebrate Christmas right right yes yeah and we did we celebrated Christmas we did in February in February late Christmas yes, it was late, late Christmas, Christmas. Yeah. it was COVID last year and uh, so were we that's right. <laughs> Last December. That's right. We were COVID when COVID wasn't cool. Oh, okay. um, oh yeah. But no, actually, I had been there about five or six years before with my mother mm -hmm. when they used to do the Broward uh, Dine Out, which is a program that they do in Broward County. Now they do it in Miami-Dade and Palm Beach, mm -hmm. where for a month, you get three or four courses at a set price for lunch, mm -hmm. and the same thing, a different price, but for dinner. Right. Um, you get to experiment different places that perhaps you right. didn't think you could afford. Um, and right. It's, it's a great opportunity. The problem is now they, they do it the same month. Now that's the problem. <laughs> they all do it in the same month, which is idiotic. Yeah. Um, but um, no, that, that's how I discovered the place. And like you said, we drive by. There's a bunch of places on Atlantic that we keep pointing at. Oh, yeah. That, oh, um, yeah. But, we have a list. <laughs> but no, anyway, um, let's. Uh, what was your first impression of the place? Uh, you know... I, I was very um, surprised mm -hmm. that they uh, do valet parking. Mm -hmm. um, there is plenty of parking there. Right. Um, it is a busy area. Very busy area. Um, yeah. So uh, you know, I took all that into consideration, and then of course, you know, the whole thing where oh my God, we're finally getting to go to Cafe Max. <laughs> it was absolutely wonderful. We walked in, and we had reservations. Mm -hmm. And um, Dan spoke to the gentleman at the front door, and um, we felt very welcome. And he immediately said, "Hi, come on in, welcome." Very welcoming. Yes, yes, he was he was amazing. And then uh, who was he? What was his name? That was Daryl Brock, one Look of the owners. That. Right. Look at that! Talk about being made welcome by one of the owners. <laughs> that was absolutely excellent. And the table was. Perfection. All the tables. All well, yeah. The, the tables yeah. that were empty, very few of them were empty. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> every place setting was identical. Every Everything was in place. Everything mm -hmm. you need for the table was there. And just fair warning, we were there on a Saturday night, um, <laughs> and it was very, very full. I'm not going to say packed because with COVID, you know, you're, that doesn't happen. Um, but the place was full, and people were dining outside as well as inside. All right. They get very full. They get very busy, so make sure you make reservations. Mm -hmm. Be absolutely. forewarned. Make reservations. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. As soon as we sat down, um, we got our water, right. and uh, our um, waitress introduced herself. Right. And I believe her name was Jane. Okay. Um, and she helped us through she the got, menu. She, she maneuvered menu. us right through the menu. She guided us. She gave us insights, personal insights. And she really and truly helped us to make good choices there. Definitely. So it's it's just amazing. Um, the level of service there is just absolutely impeccable. I have no other word for it. It's impeccable. I, I want to go back to like my first impression oh, sure. is absolutely. Um, when you get there, there's an open kitchen, um, a lot of wood wood blinds everywhere. Mm -hmm. You almost get this Manhattan feel when you're in there. I, I don't. I can't put my finger on it, but you almost feel like you're in Manhattan. It's a very yeah, New York like, vibe. It's like the, the Scotch and cigar crowd is there. Yeah, like you, like you almost, I, I mean, if you're 
if you're not too young, you remember when restaurants, people smoked in it. Yeah. You could almost see that room with smoke in it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what it was, but I really felt like I was transported back to Manhattan. It could be just the layout and the colors. The and, colors, And, and, and yeah. the professionalism. I, I think that all right. comes into that particular... And, um, and the theme. service, like you said, the service, the service. Um, I, I was, I don't know, on this visit, I was particularly watching the servers, and I couldn't believe how well trained they are. I watched uh, our server. Mm -hmm. I watched her go to the next table, pour their water because they had bottled water. Went to the next table, piled, poured their bottled water, and went to a third table, did their bottled water. You don't see that. She was going toward the kitchen, and she literally stopped hit along the way. Each table, which is what you need. That's that's the service. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, no. That's correct service. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even at one point, I had said to you, after we left, the table behind you had left. Mm -hmm. And I saw Daryl come by after the table was set. Mm -hmm. And I saw him check each setting, even moving some stuff yeah. that yeah. wasn't correct. Um, <clears throat> a few minutes later, he came and sat somebody. <clears throat> Back into the Pet Peeves videos, when I talk about a maitre d' mm -hmm. or a host. This is what they're supposed to be doing. Absolutely. And here he is. He's the owner. You know? I mean, most places hire people, pay for people to do that, and it doesn't get done. He's the owner, and there he is making sure that you get perfection. And he's doing it lovingly. And But that's what we got was perfection. I mean, that was... Yes. <clears throat> yes. It was absolutely... <laughs> so Lovingly. lovingly. Let's talk about the food. <clears throat> well, first of all, let's talk about the wine. The wine, <laughs> they have an extensive wine list. Right. Um, I opted for um, wine by the glass. Right. As, and this time around, we brought uh, Dan's dad also. And uh, he also opted for the um, wine by the right. glass. Um, we both had the uh, Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. I had the California right. Pinot Grigio, <laughs> and he had... The um, Italian Pinot Grigio. I believe he had the San Margarita, right. and it was absolutely <clears throat> delicious. Um, you know, you get what you pay for here. Right. Absolutely, and um, the the food is is absolutely amazing. The appetizers. Right. That's what I need to tell you about the escargot <laughs> filo purse. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely delicious. Uh, you Definitely. know that usually you, you get your escargot with the little and the metal dish. Or the porcelain one that I like. Oh, yeah. Not here. No. Not here. Tell them about they're, it. They're honey. in a phyllo dough. The sauce is in the phyllo dough. Mm. Um, they're, they're juicy. They're not dried out. Uh, they, they, they are amazing. Was, yeah. They are truly amazing. That, that was like a surprise. Yeah, and we also had the Thai grilled sea scallops, and sea scallops. the sea scallops there, I'm just warning you, are about as big as my fist. <laughs> They're big. They're going to golf ball. But, uh, and tender, tender like butter. I, 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 was, I took them, and I was slicing them like you slice bread. Uh -huh. I was slicing yeah. and slivering them. When you put it in your mouth, it melted like butter. <laughs> but um, I knew that time, I knew I was in for a treat because I ordered scallops as the entree, too. That's right. So That's I knew. Right. And then um, what was the other uh, we had appetizer we had? We had the crab lobster cakes. Wow, yeah. The crab lobster cake. Um, uh, we were with a group of people that time. And yes. I wasn't paying attention. I just ordered a couple appetizers. I saw yeah, crab cake. Yeah, I thought cake, it was just crab cake. And yeah. I'm eating it, and I'm like, wow, this is good. Yeah, and this I is had, off the chain. Because, <laughs> again, crab cake is my thing. And um, not until I looked at the menu mm -hmm. did I see crab lobster cake that's what did it yeah yeah, yeah. And what about the mussels the mussels too the mussels were incredible the, the um i think they're salt island uh mussels yes yes absolutely they melt in your mouth the flavor yes. and it comes with a little uh, a little baguette on here a little baguette you dip it in the salt the quality is just absolutely amazing and you have to ask for bread if you want some so please don't be keto ask the bread Ask for the bread. You get the flat bread, you get the everything bread, you get the beautiful bread basket. Uh, cinnamon um, raisin bread. Yes, all different kinds of breads all in there. You name it, they've got <clears> it. Don't be keto. Yeah, so don't don't be keto. Yeah. Not here. 
<laughs> anyway, not here. I had the jumbo shrimp scampi oh, linguine. No, wait, wait, there was one other appetizer. There was? Yes, the beef dumpling <gasps> with the poison that. ginger sauce. Oh my goodness, yes. Never had yes. beef dumpling, but really, really good. Yeah. Really good. Um, yeah. They melt in your mouth and they perfect. They, they were perfect. <laughs> and the sauce, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, and it the was. and the uh, the the um the lobster crab cakes. What was it that came over the the um the beet salad? Was that the lobster that came over the beet? Yeah. Okay, it was yeah. a beet salad. Yeah. Yeah, it was a beet really. salad. Uh, everything at Cafe Max has a twist. I, I got to right. tell you that ahead of time. Um, it, you get classical items, and they put a twist in. Yeah, um, and it usually corresponds to whatever was fresh market today. Right. Right. But then, and, and the chef will just, you know, wrap it yeah. around and, and give it his um, blessing. Because mm -hmm. that's that's what it tastes like. It's so blessed. It's so delicious. No, but you also have the other thing where you have the two sizes. A lot of the items come with uh, two sizes, a small right. and a large. Right. Um, but, like, for instance, my father had a paella, mm -hmm. and it was over uh, jasmine rice, right. which is not a paella rice, and the broccoli. Mm -hmm. Broccolini. That was your twist. Yeah. That was your twist. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, we got the menu right here. And it changes every day. It changes daily. The proteins pretty much stay the same, but the, like she said about the fresh ingredients, yeah. and it, it's the freshest ingredients. Um, so, how about dinner? Oh my goodness, <clears throat> dinner was absolutely delicious. I had the jumbo shrimp scampi um, over linguine with garlic butter and spinach. Were they jumbo shrimp? <laughs> they were this they big. Were U U10s, for, the, for those of you in the business. U10s, uh, under 10 per pound, like bigger than my thumb, uh -huh. huge. And you know, I had to bring that half, uh, well, what, I had to bring half of it home because I couldn't right. eat it all. It was so delicious. And then the next day, <clears throat> we had leftovers, and that was what I based my leftover dish around. So yeah. that was really nice. So we, got, we both got to enjoy that. That was really <clears throat> excellent. What yeah. was it that you had for dinner that time? I had the uh, Japanese, uh, no, the grilled mm -hmm. scallops over the Japanese vegetables, and Japanese udon noodles, mm -hmm. and stir-fried vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, Papa Joe had the um, grilled scallops over a mushroom risotto. Mm -hmm. That was to die for. That, oh my goodness! I, I, I kept for bringing my fork over there, taking that risotto. That that was. No, and every time that you brought the fork around, I yeah. could smell it. Yeah, it, it was, was just that, absolutely that was, delicious. That was delicious. And then um, when we went with family, uh -huh. um, I ended up having the cousin, short rib. Well, you had short ribs. My cousin Lou's wife ordered the uh, similar scallops to my father, mm -hmm. but the risotto was different. It was a, uh, I got the menu right here. Oh, yeah. It You're was right. the, um, right there, crimson. I can't read because I don't have my glasses. A merino cherry glazed beets. Yeah. So it was with um, it was actually melted leeks, green beans with amaretto cherry glazed beets. Yeah, that's just a sample of it's what you can expect here. Unbelievable! Just the, 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 unbelievable. the ingredients. Who had the churrasco with the chimichurri sauce? I had the churrasco oh, with the chimichurri. Okay. Um, that's. Churrasco is, is something I love, but it's I rarely order it out because I'm afraid to get lumps of fat. Oh. I knew here that I wasn't getting that, and it was so good. I ate everything. I pretty practically licked the plate, and I think uh, the table next to us, when a gentleman was leaving, remember he said to me, how was it? And I, I joked, and I was like, yeah, I pretty much licked the plate. And he chirped back, yeah, I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> So, yeah. but um, no, you and Lou had um, the same dish. He had the yes. large version, you had the small had the version. Small it version. was the... The rigatoni. The, the, the rigatoni the with short the short rib. Short rib. Yeah. The short rib. Yeah. It was absolutely yeah, unbelievable. It, that was delicious. Yes. And um, someone had it while I was putting it away. I remember when we came home and we were, I was putting it away, you yeah. tried it. Yeah. And you really, really liked it. Yeah, tried And then it. in the morning before I woke up, he tried it again. And that yeah. time it was cold. And yep. he came in raving, oh my goodness, it, it tastes delicious. delicious, even cold. Yeah. It was really, really delicious. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That was definitely fun. The, uh, the um, drinks, the, well, you got you had wine. Yeah, we had wine. I had um, 
the, the rum and cokes, delicious, the poured perfect, mm -hmm. not too strong, not weak, just perfect with the lime the way it should be. Um, mm -hmm. Again, service on point. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Oh. We, should, we should talk about desserts. I was right? going to say, what about the dessert? Uh, they have an extensive uh, house uh, menu of desserts. Um, they make their desserts there. Yes, I had um, the deep dish bourbon yeah. and chocolate pecan pie, and it was served with a warm uh, chocolate uh, sauce mm -hmm. and caramel. Um, and it also came with the uh, vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah, that, that ice cream was so good that when our waitress came by, she said, how's everything? I said, oh, everything's great, and I love this ice cream. And she brought us a little bowl over of ice cream. Oh, yeah. That, that was a, oh, a yeah. special extra touch there. Nice. Yeah, we had our spoons going, that's for sure. I also yeah. had the, the raspberry sorbet yeah. um, the next time when we went um, with family. And uh, it was served on an almond lace cup. Yes. Um, and it had berries and mango uh, sauces and uh, fresh berries and whipped cream. Right. And um, I absolutely devoured the raspberry sorbet, but I noticed that uh, my almond lace cup yeah. disappeared. Tore, I tore right through that. Yes, he did. He absolutely loved it and he licked his fingers. And that almond lace cup also comes with the uh, creme brulee. Yes, um, it does. Oh, we had the creme brulee also, yes, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. We my, forgot about that. Yeah, but my only letdown with the creme brulee is, upon reading all the previous reviews, everybody talked about this chocolate creme brulee, and they didn't have a chocolate. <laughs> the, the last two times we went, it was the vanilla. It was not to be. Delicious, but I want to try the chocolate creme brulee. Yes, because we want to compare it. We want to compare to it. To another. Yeah. So. And perhaps maybe next time <laughs> we'll be able to compare. Um, the one thing with with this uh, with with uh, Cafe Max, uh, Cafe Max is an interesting story. They they were around. Uh, Daryl and Oliver had the place for about um, seven years. I think I was reading. Um, first of all, when they bought it, they added the the second X. Oh. To it. Okay. But um, after about seven years, they branched out. And I think they opened uh, seven or eight other places in other states, mm. uh, here in, in Fort Lauderdale, um, and they were very successful, but they decided to go back into one, one establishment, mm -hmm. keep their talent, they didn't want to dilute what they had, and they focused there, and, and really, um, I mean, the price point here is, I want to say moderate to high, um, but you are paying for top quality. It's a cut and, above. And when I say top quality, I don't say, I'm not saying 100% USDA beef, you know? No. Uh, you, you are getting hand-picked ingredients. We, I mean, I've just said, we had scallops on multiple occasions. I've never had grit. I've never had a piece of shell. Um, the, the appetizer of scallops with the stir-fried vegetables and mine all had snow peas. The veins cleaned out perfectly. Um, whatever you see is, is perfect. I mean, attention to detail. Attention to detail, but the most, the highest quality um, ingredients around, really. Absolutely. I mean, and lots of love. Without a doubt. You can feel the love. <laughs> um, you know what I like? When the chef comes out and mm -hmm. he, he comes over to yep. the tables and stuff, yep. and he does. He does. And you can tell he really yep. enjoys what he's doing. And Daryl, too, I saw him go awesome. around to, to the tables at the end of the well, night. Yeah, yeah, but at that's different, night. you know, because Daryl is there with us the whole time. Right. But Chef came out and, yep. you know, and he, uh, he wanted feedback, which was really nice. And um, they are open seven days a week at 5.30 for dinner. And on Sunday, they're open at 10.30 for brunch. Mm -hmm. They have office hours, I think, five days a week from... 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, they do a lot of catering. catering. Yeah. They, they do a lot of catering. And um, right now, I think they do curbside pickup. And that's it. Yeah, they have a valet. <laughs> so, as always, enjoy, and I'll see you there. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we do appreciate the comments. And we're here for you. So just let us know what you want to see. And as always, don't forget to check out SoFloDining.com. <laughs> right. 
Um, check out the other things we have on YouTube. We have a lot of reviews on YouTube now. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of special series. We have a Pet Peeve series. Um, we have the uh, Broward Cuban Cafe series. Mm -hmm. We have a Key West series. And we're on different platforms. We're on every platform um, imaginable. <laughs> Me, we, Rumble, Tumble, um, <laughs> MySpace, YouTube, Facebook. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah. did, did I miss anything? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever <laughs> platform you're on, just look up SoFlo Dining and you'll find us. How's Absolutely. That? Good? Absolutely. And don't forget, uh, if we're in your establishment, look for our card. Uh, if you see the card, that means we're doing a blog on you. 